We're starting this out a little differently today. We're going to Harry Carey's. And last week, Rosie O'Donnell and Fran Drescher, she's the nanny, to arrest her parents, did a restaurant review of Harry Carey's. So I've got Grant the Poor. I said, Grant, I can't be one up by a national show. I mean, you know, Grant is one of my bigger fans. So here we are, and we got Harry Carey's limo, and uh, we're gonna, you know, go have a little meal at Harry Carey's. Harry Carey, sir. Right again. You know what? We've got one of Chicago's biggest baseball fans here. This is Dr. Chuck Hamber. Hi, how are you? What's the length of this bar? This bar is exactly 60 feet, 6 inches. The exact distance between the pitching mound and home plate. Hi. Hi, Dave. Welcome to Harry Carey's. Our chef Abe has sent out two glasses of Barolo and two house specialty appetizer plates. Over here we have our Harry Carey's bruschetta along with an order of shrimp cocktail and we have our special antipasta formaggio platter. Enjoy. Bon appetito. By the way, the uh, fellow over here is Grant the Porter and he's the boss here. Harry Carey, who was actually if we could just shoot that up there, that is really Harry Carey up there. When he had his choice of chefs, how did he get in the restaurant business? Uh, well, this restaurant came around in 1987, and someone had a great idea, let's put Harry's name on it, and they contacted him. And, uh, you know, it just uh, from there on out, it's just been a huge success. Tell me a little bit about Harry Carey's, and let me just say that people might think of you as a sports bar, but the uh, wine spectator said, yeah, the seven years of the Award of Excellence. On the other hand, the Sports Writers Association, was it? Said that you... uh, it was a Paul of America's sportscasters, ABC, ESPN, CBS, who the sportscasters guide uh, ranked us the number one best sports restaurant in the country. Okay. Um, why don't we have some of these appetizers, okay. and you can tell me just a little bit about what Harry Carey does when he comes here? Well, I think Harry's probably one of the hardest working celebrity restaurant tours in the country. Um, you know, I counted one year, I think it seemed like he was in here about 80 or 100 times in one year, almost every home game. Um, and he works the crowd, he'll work the dining room, walk around, talk to people. Um, he'll sign autographs for hours, and he just really enjoys people. So, um, you know, if he loves, that's why the restaurant business is perfect for him. You've got the Harry Carries in Wheeling, and but tell me what you're doing at the Equitable Building downtown. Okay, well we're. Uh, I'll eat. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Well, you know, for years because of Harry's name, a lot of people thought that we would have more televisions in the dining room and uh, you know hot dogs and hamburgers and all that pizza, and we never really had that. So um, we decided that maybe it was time to expand, and we're. Uh, opening up a 500-seat restaurant called Harry Carey's Seventh Inning Stretch on Michigan Avenue in the Equitable Plaza building on the river. 500 seats? Yeah, it's more than double the size of this place. And uh, we'll have TV uh, monitors everywhere you can look and watch multiple sporting events on it one time. And we'll have deep dish pizza, thin crust pizza, pasta. Are you going to watch any restaurant shows on the air? I mean, will there be any restaurant shows? Only when your show comes on. <laughs> I was worried, okay. We'll have it on at 100 monitors at one time. Well, let's get this food before it gets warm, and then uh, I guess that food's gonna be coming out in a minute. A ver si me acuerdo, cuñado. Ya se me vio el video. Hey, Chef. How you doing, Dave? Good. It's the Chef Abraham. And he's like sort of the infamous guy in town. What are you making for us in this well, noisy kitchen? I know. Well, today we're going to make a peppercorn steak. And we also going to make a, our famous chicken Vesuvio and a seafood pasta. Let's rock. OK. Well, we want to start with some uh, dry mustard. And then we dress it with a peppercorn. This will go very well with a nice Barolo. Okay. 
I thought, you know, I thought I was gonna have to have a Budweiser. Budweiser too. This is our famous chicken misubio. Okay, this is our peppercorn. Now we're gonna slice them. Before we left, we we're talking about a 500-seat restaurant on Michigan Avenue. That's it's gonna be like massive. It's gonna be like a colossal sports bar. Right. Uh, and you're gonna have pizzas and all kinds of great stuff. Um, you're open seven days a week? Yeah. My hair, yes. And if I wanna come here and just like buy a t-shirt or buy one of those hairy carry buttons, could I do that? Yeah, we have a retail store in the bar. I th you walked in the bar, I think, when you walked in, right? Okay, I, I saw Chuck Hamburg out there. Um, I have to ask you an important question. If someone wants to come and just like come for dinner, they get a free limo service? No, only you, Dave. Okay, only me. Well, hey, this is Grant the Porter. We're at Harry Carey's. And give me your address and phone number. Uh, it's 33 West Kinsey, and the phone number is 312 Holy Cow. And uh, that's it. That's good enough for me. Let's go.